Hi, Todd Burns here with Homebrew Happy Hour. So today, uh, you can see I've taken this GovReg apart. We have all GovRegs in this system, and they've worked really well for a couple of years now. But I started to have problems with, with a couple of them not adjusting or not staying on pressure. So I started taking them apart, looking at them. And what I found is we had, of the six, we had two or three that had obviously gotten some backflow. So they'd had beer flowing back into them, not, not flowing, but just put a little bit getting back into them. And they were sticky. I was able to salvage them by boiling them and a process that we've covered in another video. Uh, but, but my question was, are we following the best procedure for installing a GovRag by putting it right on the disconnect as it is on a lot of these, like this is going straight to a, to a beer coupler. We, have a, we had a beer coupler on some beers here. And then we also have them going to a disconnect like this. So my theory for what it's worth is that what's happening is even though we have check valves on every one of these valves in here, that the hose itself expands sometimes under pressure and contraction expands and it might just be enough to suck a little bit of beer back in here which you, you occasionally see a little bit of, uh, of moisture in a, in a beer line and i think that might be what's happening so we're gonna first and foremost we're gonna completely redo this keys we're gonna replace all the hoses we're gonna check all the valves we're gonna basically start out with a new system I wanna do this anyway, I just painted this. I painted some of the hoses a little bit when I was redoing the keyser, cause keysers tend to, tend to rust out after a few years. So I've dealt with all that. I wanna replace all the hoses. I've had a little bit of problem with some leaks in here. I wanna make sure that every single connection I have is not leaking, and then we got a good solid system again. So it's kind of a two part thing we're doing with this keyser. We're gonna rebuild it for that reason, and we're gonna rebuild it for this experiment with the GovRegs. What we're gonna do with the GovRegs, I'll cover in a minute here as we're rebuilding this. I'll go through exactly how we're gonna run them three different ways and what we'd hope to find out uh, over the course of time by running them that way. All right, so I've taken all the hose off of here. I've actually replaced the regulator with a CM Becker regulator. I have this set at 50 PSI. So my goal here is because I was having some, I or at least perceived that I might be having some leaking problems, I'm actually gonna run a little soapy water on every single place that this thing could leak, which is basically um, eight places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all there is. Um, I got a bubble right there, but that, that may have just been me hitting it. So I'm going to, you know, sometimes you can kind of push some bubbles out on accident. So I'm going to make sure I have a clear liquid. I'm going to put it on that again. And this is a pretty strong solution of, of uh, soap and water. So if, if we had a leak, we would be seeing it and I am not seeing anywhere. You'd, what you'd get is basically, um, if I turn this valve on a little bit, I think you can, let me see, I don't know if I can turn it on that little bit. Of, yeah, you see how you get even any amount that you have of air coming out, you're gonna get a bubble. And that's just because I turned the valve on, obviously. But the only place I've seen anything see a tiny bit there again make sure that I'm just getting liquid out I'm gonna I see how I got the bubbles just from the hose so I'm gonna make sure that's not happening I'm gonna run this one more time on those where I saw a bubble no bubbles so I am pretty confident that we do not have a leak here anywhere so that's good I know that these that's the only component I'm reusing is this and I know absolutely for sure that I'm not getting a leak anywhere on that. All right, so we've gone through and we've replaced all the lines. 
redone all the connections. We've tested every single connection in this whole system for leaks. We did find one leak, we fixed it. So we have what we, we feel like is a very secure system that's not gonna uh, lose any CO2. So I'm gonna go through and show you what we're doing on the uh, GovRags. So the first one is set up exactly like we've always set them up, where they're just going straight from the GovRag into the disconnect. This is where we feel like we've had some liquid go backwards in the past. We're gonna have this in as a control. So then we have three different solutions that we've used here. The first one is gonna be a CM Becker plain disconnect with an, with an inline uh, back flow protector. So this is gonna allow it to, the, the, uh, the air to go in, but it won't allow it to go backwards. And that's gonna protect that gov rag so that if you do get any liquid going backwards, it won't go backwards at all. It's a very secure backstop. This is an actual CM Becker disconnect that's made with a backflow preventer in it. It's actually double backflow. So it, you have to have at least five PSI to go forward and then you can't go back, it won't go backwards. It immediately will stop any backflow. So it's it's pretty close to that GovRag, but again, it, it's got that protection of not allowing it to go backwards. The third solution is one that we uh, have used in the past and I think something that's gonna be very common you can see it here, but it's probably easier to see over here. With this, we're putting that gov rag way down the line here. So for it to get flooded, it would literally have to have liquid that traveled all the way backward to there. And that's because you have a backflow preventer in these valves, it's not gonna allow it to do that. We think the reason we've had some situations in the past, which I've seen with all kinds of draft systems, where you're, you know, you're getting a little bit of liquid coming in, and I think part of it might be hose expansion, and or you know, you, you just get into a, a, a situation where you've got a lot of pressure pushing backwards. We particularly saw it actually on the one that we were doing carbonated water. That one got flooded quite a bit. And uh, I think it was because of hose expansion. So now we've got uh, something that's stopping the backflow on all of these, except for the inline, and we just have it so far back with this valve itself. And all of these, all these solutions have have these valves that also ha have a back check perfect, uh, prevention, so it will not allow the uh, gas to flow backwards.